The pocket-sized computers that we call smartphones are probably the single greatest invention of our lifetime. But are they gonna make me dumber? Hang on, I'm gonna Google that, find out. Hey there, phone addicts. Thanks for watching D News Today, I'm Trace. We use our cell phones for everything. They're increasingly becoming extensions of our brains. They're a place to store information that you don't want to have to remember. In 2002, the Nobel Prize for Economics went to a psychologist for a paper describing the two kinds of thinkers in this world, analytical and intuitive. And now a new study from Computers and Human Behavior says our tendency to rely on our smartphones might be screwing us over if we're the intuitive thinkers. Intuitive thinkers rely on gut feelings or intuition to make a decision, while analytical thinkers analyze the problem, second guess themselves, and then think through the decision first. According to this study, intuitive thinkers tend to use search engines rather than their own brain power. They look up information that they already know so that they don't have to think about it, even briefly. Let's say you're asked what actor was in that movie that one time. An intuitive thinker would immediately pull out their phone and search for it, even though they might know the answer. An analytical thinker would search their memories for what they know and then maybe have an answer. There are advantages to both types of thinking, but this new research says the intuitive people use the search engine functions more and may be less intelligent. They tested 660 participants and gave them intuitive and analytical tasks to complete. Obviously, they were allowed to use their cell phones. Heavy smartphone use was associated with lowered intelligence in their results. They called them lazy thinkers. Lazy thinking, cognitive easing, or being a cognitive miser is incredibly common. It's essentially describing our disinterest in the effort of thinking. We want to believe that we, the great human, are constantly churning through information, analyzing and stuff, but we're animals, and thinking burns energy. To save that energy, we take mental shortcuts and offload information. It's an evolutionary way to conserve resources, because, you know, thinking is hard! <laughs> this is known. Human brains only have so much power and thinking takes a lot of it. Popular websites design themselves to be intuitive, to reduce cognitive load, allowing you to enjoy their content and spend more free time. Advertisers do the same thing, so does television. The problem is our brains are plastic or moldable. As we learn things, our brain changes. We create new neural pathways and reshape our thinking processes. As we age, our neuroplasticity gets worse. Ideally, we'd fill our lives with varied and colorful experiences, not like just vacations and social activities, but building, learning, working, running, and playing. These make our brain better and create a better foundation for aging. Processing all this information elsewhere, on the other hand, might have adverse consequences for aging. Think about what that could actually mean for the older version of the searching person. No, actually think, I'm not gonna tell you, ugh. Okay, fine. Think Alzheimer's or other brain degradation disorders, forgetfulness and the inability to recall information, all that it would be bad for somebody who spent their whole lives learning to search a search engine rather than think through something. Whether our brains are getting worse because of the internet or video games is as old as technology themselves. And it's the same debate for television and radio. But our tendency to avoid thinking is a whole different facet. It's like cheating on every test in school. If you got all the answers from someone else, what could you actually do when you graduated other than learn to get answers from someone else now. It's compelling to think about, don't you think? Do you think our cell phones are affecting our thinking? Would you rather search than use your brain? Try not searching for things and let me know how it goes. You know what else cell phones do? They take amazing photos. This Happened Here is one of our brand new shows. They take a look at the story behind some of the most intense photos out there on the internet. Like this photo here, looking at the story behind a truck on the verge of falling off a road on the Himalayas. The winding road through the Rotang Pass sits almost 4,000 meters above sea level and are haunted by unpredictable weather and freezing cold temperatures. But on the day this picture was taken, it wasn't snow or cold that put travelers' lives in danger. Make sure you check the video out. It's in the first link in the description. Subscribe to Seeker so you don't miss a video, and thank you for watching.